But first, here at 6, across much of California, including right here in the Central Valley, a dangerous heat wave has arrived, with temperatures only expected to get worse over the weekend. Our Capitol correspondent, Aton Wallace, joins us now from the Governor's Office of Emergency Services with a look at the state's response and what Governor Gavin Newsom is saying about how California's power grid is faring so far. Well, so far so good on the state's power grid situation, but as it pertains to that extreme heat, well, those here at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, or Cal OES, say they are doing all they can to ensure Californians stay safe. The heat is here, and this weekend, it could get even worse across much of the Golden State. Speaking with reporters this week, Governor Gavin Newsom urged Californians to take the triple-digit temps seriously. I'm very mindful and sober uh, about uh, the health and safety of people and these extreme heat events and these triple digit. I mean, this is you know, 107, 108, 109, 10. Um, this is becoming all too familiar in the state of California. Familiar, he says, noting just last year, a record multi-week heat wave brought the state dangerously close to widespread outages. But fast forward to now, Newsom says so far, the power grid is holding up well with the demand. We should be all right. We had an all hands meeting. Uh, we expect to be in, in, good, in, in good position this week. It comes as the Newsom administration announced this week the launch of Heat Ready California, a $20 million multi-ethnic awareness and education campaign designed to reach vulnerable Californians ahead of extreme heat events. And we are stepping up our efforts as it relates to a real targeted focus on keeping people safe. Keeping people safe is exactly what the team at Cal OES aims to do throughout the weekend. <laughs> This is Dream Heat Can Kill. Renee Cashmere with Cal OES says that's why the team here is in constant coordination with partner agencies across the state, all while monitoring extreme heat conditions in real time. Still, she reminds Californians there are steps all of us can take to prepare. I think many people don't understand the severity that um, this extreme hot weather can bring uh, to your people's safety. So just practicing those precautions such as um, wearing life vests when you're near water, um, wearing sunscreen, staying hydrated, keeping your eyes on uh, neighbors, maybe um, elderly neighbors that may not have resources. And there's so many different scenarios that can make people vulnerable. So keeping um, an eye out for yourself, but also the people around you. And she says that, of course, includes looking after your pets. Now, as for the team here, well, I'm told staff will remain here throughout the weekend actively monitoring that extreme heat. Reporting from Cal OES headquarters near Sacramento, Aton Wallace, 17 News.